<laughs> uh, that was really good. Thank you very Flawless. much for that one. Nice. Hat Chat, episode 99, kicking off in style there by Alec mm. Cosgrove. Thank you very much. I am Chris Trott. Hi, Chris Trott. I'm Ross Hornby. Wow. I am Chris Trott. Nice. Hi, Chris No, Trott. you're not. I'm no. Ross Hornby. Yes, I am. You're not. You're Ross not has Chris forgotten Trott. that you already am. introduced himself. Hi, Chris Trott. I'm Ross Hornby. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome uh, to episode 99. Uh, yeah. Man, it's episode 100 is going to be crazy with the amount of helicopters we've hired and the jets Jesus. and stuff. I mean, it's just quantity of helicopters. Pressure. How many yeah. of them are you? Uh, there's just three of us, actually. So you want and nine helicopters? Yeah, yeah most of them just the three flight formations. Yeah, the loudest yeah. thing we could possibly have on a podcast a helicopter. It would be We're large. coming to you live from a helicopter. They are wildly impractical when you think about the sound elements of helicopters. Yeah. Yeah. They are insane. They... Well, when you see them, in the, they've got the... <laughs> <laughs> just flying over the... <laughs> it's very, like, invasive. Yeah. It's not ideal. Do you think it's not we... ideal. Is that why there's not many podcasts in helicopters? I mean, I've not heard one in a helicopter, so... Or you can't hear shit in a but helicopter. we can be the first. Yeah. We can make it happen. We could be the first. We could. Yeah. We could Before be tonight. in the gun pod of an attack helicopter, and then it really would be a podcast. God. In All a way. Right. We'll get on there for, for the next week. Cramped. Trot, that's going to be on you. I, I don't go up in small aircraft anymore. They make me vomit. So after um, episode 100, we only do podcasts in pods. Yes. Of any kind. Yeah, what will be the next pod? A time pod? Wow. Time capsule. How time many capsule. You got down? A few I'm, more down this week? Well, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, weekly. At what weekly point podcast. does it become an enthusiastic time capsuler just becomes a person that's created a landfill in their own garden? Yeah. I get, but can you Where's not pile line? up? Like, if you like, just build a huge trench or one mm -hmm. like, giant hole, bore a giant hole, and then well, sort them all on top of each other, yeah. and stack them. But I would argue that you'd probably want to move to a monthly, depending on how big your land is, move to a monthly time capsule. I think that would be annoying. Cause, like, how big is a time capsule, exactly? If you're stacking the I'm time capsules a... on top of each other, right? Yeah. As soon as you're like, okay, let's look back at them. You've got the most recent one on top and you have to go all the way to the bottom stack to get what to the it? oldest one. It's yeah. It would, it would encourage you not to peek though, wouldn't it? No, but like, like, like oh, the God, really juicy all the stuff's miles 2020s the and ugh, oh, nightmare. God, now I'll wait. I'll what did wait. I do it monthly? What's the biggest <laughs> thing? What's, what's the biggest thing you think that they've put in a time capsule? Like how big... Would you go? Like we're talking like, I know that there's um <laughs> there was a video Tom Scott video. It's not true. In there. Um, Tom Scott video of like an archive, but I'm not sure if an archive is the same as a time capsule. Like there's an archive like built underground in these mines, and it's like mm. apparently perfect conditions for it and stuff. But yeah, time capsules are those kind of just yeah a shitty box that your teacher what what would you prepare so they bury it? Somewhere. I don't know where they buried it. Asshole. What would you put in a time capsule that you think would be valuable? If that might not exist. So, for example, like uh, antibiotics or rare metals. Uh, you know, are you going to put yeah. something in a time capsule that you're like, in the future, mm. dry land, sunscreen, that might be useful, <laughs> you know? Um, That's a good point. Yeah, well, they what, had it in abundance today? and they barely used it. <laughs> aluminium foil. I'm still <clears> to this day convinced that someday we're going to look back on our use of aluminium foil and go, this was fucking wasteful. <laughs> Just yeah. loads we covered of... ourselves in that shit before. Like, <laughs> yeah. We've really gone to town on that stuff. And Cling film. Great. Very hot. Jesus. Plastic packaging. I put tons mm -hmm. of that in there. Um, yeah. well, plastic. Just, just to get rid of it. Though. Can't <laughs> just get rid of it. What, what, what things are going to disappear? You know, like well, freeze iPods, dried we said the strawberries. Other day. Strawberries, freeze dried them. What oh. animals are going extinct? I'd, I'd stuff one of those in there. <laughs> you stuff one of those in a tube. Well, While it's still alive, extinct. shove it in. While it's still alive, maybe they'll be able to bring it back in the future. Get in there! No. Can't stop scratching me. A Noah's Ark of live animals, and they're just, <laughs> just stuffed in underground. jars. God. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. There's only so much. Maybe not living there. creatures then. A time capsule full of bees is a nice suggestion. Yeah, wow. that's yeah. like that's an unfortunate truth if we lose bees though we kind of mm -hmm. lose everything bees are kind of like we store each of these things um in one of those uh what is it sap store it in sap right. and then years later we'll do the jurassic park thing and bring it back just get a needle in there get the dna out mm -hmm. and then boom mix it with frogs just, somewhere yeah. and then boom if we do it egg. manually bam we've got the idea first we've got it there 
they go back and they just find this cluster of golden eggs, and in, in each one is an insect and a creature. And then what we should do, of course, and a giant one, kind of like Han Solo. <laughs> we should genuinely <laughs> do this. Just says clearly on our foreheads. <laughs> uh, maybe not genuinely do this, but we should do it, right? Get all the like animals that are likely to go extinct in our lifetimes, stuff yeah. them in these jars or sap or whatever. Stuff them. But we invest Sam. heavily in setting up our own theme park or zoo that's entirely yeah. these animals. Yeah, that'd be great. If we get in there early, it'll be yeah. a cheap investment for us. And then, Way cheap. you know, in Super cheap. 200 years, our mm. great, great, great grandkids that we didn't have. Are pretty will, fine? But they'll be pretty fine, according to the song, <laughs> Year 3000 by Busted. Well, I mean, they did call the whole... The Not much thing. has changed, but we live underwater. That's I think happening. we got that yeah, right. That's, yeah. That's, I, there was an article about I mean, uh, uh, flooding in Australia and oh, various Oh, I saw there. the same article and yeah. I was like, how can we talk about this without just making me really depressed? Yeah. Do you, you know funny. there are climate just... ghettos? Do you know climate oh. ghettos? Right, I mean, it's amazing. It's it's not amazing. It's terrifying, but it's also kind of just kind of interesting, uh, in not an immediately depressing way. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, what's happening in Australia is certain parts are being so affected by um, climate catastrophes like flooding and stuff like that. They're becoming uninsurable for housing right, insurance. Yeah. So so a really really risky place to live um, in terms of if you're looking to not get your house destroyed. Uh, and so what's happening is people well, are selling up. Let me put some up. backing music for you while, you while you play. They're selling up. Okay. For how much though? Because obviously, like, not very much. I guess. Oh, okay. We got the backing. So this kind of lightens it. It's lightens yeah, it. Just, just thought I'd right. lighten okay. it a okay. little okay. bit. Yeah. Carry on. Can you turn it down a little is bit? Is that going to come quite... through on the uh, recording as well? Can we get that in yeah. the recording? Is that yeah. coming through? <sighs> okay. Start again. If not, it's uh. And you know, basically, the what's happening is lightening the mood. These climate these music. people are selling their houses for very cheap because nobody's interested in buying houses that are going to get destroyed by flooding every couple of years. Of course. But there are some people who are interested, and those people <laughs> are young people because much like a lot of Europe and the UK, young people are being priced out of the market by older, more financially endowed generations oh, uh, speculating on the housing market. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, as we all know, that's led to vastly increasing housing prices all over the place. So, young Australians are going, shit, these houses that are in these climate-affected places are really cheap because nobody wants to live there because they get destroyed. Nice. So they're like, I'm going to get the house that I feel I deserve with three bedrooms and a yard instead of living in a shitty tiny place in the middle of a dirty city. So they go out there, they buy these things, and then guess what? Because they're in such terrible climate catastrophe areas, the prices of their houses don't increase, whilst the houses of all the ones that are in the climate catastrophe areas continue to increase. So they Woo! get trapped within that because there's no equity in the house they bought. And Amazing. They're doomed. There we go. Love there you wow. go. Thank and you that. For that. What's that? That's is, the climate music, which we can that bring is back. Climate music. Music. Climate Anytime we talk music. about climate. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's um, that's essentially a climate, climate ghetto. ghetto. Yeah, mm. lovely. That's cool. That's a shocking turn of events, but in a way, we saw it coming. Yeah. Oh, over yeah. A long yeah. Period yeah. Of time. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. What hypotheticals have you got for us this week? <laughs> so, <laughs> just, okay. Get back into it. So yes, our wonderful patrons, thank you very much for supporting Hat Chat and having a little bit of interaction with the decision making here on Hat Chat. Mm -hmm. They have decided the first patron question, the hypothetical of the week, where we smooth brains indulge ourselves in philosophical debate about such stupid things as mm -hmm. the following. If you could take a sci-fi novel or movie and turn it into reality, oh, fuck. what would it look like? <clears throat> um, for a right. for a positive Planet experience. Apes. Planet of the right, Apes. Yeah. You're bringing the yeah, apes. two experiences. Oh god, one a positive, yeah. and one just a hellscape. Because <laughs> the idea of Interstellar is interesting, and obviously. It's a negative situation on Earth. Obviously, you know, dust clouds are destroying crops. Um, mm -hmm. People are dying because of this. Uh, it's a disaster. And so they're hunting for a, a new world through, you know, black holes. Um, and I'm not just saying this because I really enjoyed the film. Although I am, let's be honest. Um, yeah. yeah and it's the first thing that film. came to my head. Great film. I just instantly went, 
Bam, Hans Zimmer, Interstellar, Chris Nolan, and Matthew McConaughey. Um, Matthew. But yeah, no, the idea of uh, yeah finding a new world, that was pretty cool. And then yeah. they actually do. And then, oh, spoiler. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. If you haven't seen the film, honestly, it's worth watching. I haven't seen this, <laughs> really. Uh, there's a lot of emotion in there. The time dilation stuff is scary. It's fucking horrifying. Yeah. You know, the seven, oh, uh, there's one point years. where it's what, is it seven years to one. It's ages. Yeah. Yeah. So one hour or something. something yeah. And every hour we spend down here is seven years on Earth. And it's like, this guy's got a kid, man. He's not yeah. going to see his kid grow that up. That guy needs a new watch. Yeah. That sounds he way wrong. Watch. And honestly, they should have, yeah, really done that by the minute rather than by hours. But alas, that's, um, if they, they found a new world. And I think that's, that's a pretty good reality in the end. But dark, what about but, uh, uh, District 9? <laughs> District 9. Okay, so just remembering the premise of that, did they, is this kind of a hangover from the idea of um, oh, fucking <sighs> completely forgotten it now. Yeah, yeah, it is based on a form of reality or is that it's so more of a can... What's the term? Brains... Talking about apart, apart apartheid, or... yeah, because it's, right, it's, right. it's got like it references that right. But it's a reflection it's using... on that event, but it it's more the, the bug creatures aggregated, um, brought to mm -hmm. the UK, not the UK, sorry, South Africa. They, they refer to them as prawns in a derogatory yeah, sense, in this... very derogative sense. Prawns. They're treated like shit, yeah, and then there's an uprising. So yes. I'd like that. Um, You'd like that? Okay. That'd be a nice movie if we could do that. If not, Avatar. Well, Avatar, you want... <laughs> Smith took his headphones off and didn't get to react to that one, but um, Avatar is an interesting one. It's, and what's the most appealing part of it? Is it the going into the world and becoming one of the creatures? I'd like actually... to go into a pod. It's the ultimate yeah. VR experience, really. Like, you, you literally lie in a pod so you don't have to do anything, and then, and then boom, you're a huge blue alien who's extremely athletic, and they got a little dangly tail that you can connect with everything. Um, really sexually. So I'm up for that. In a way that makes me think of the Matrix as well, where it's like, well, you can yeah. have this essentially live in this fake dream world and do anything if you're aware of obviously the Matrix and can have access to anything like they do. In the Does it have to come um, with like the robot uprising kind of thing and us used as energy <sighs> batteries? I'd like to think that there was a like a theme park element where you could be woken up but you're woken up to just literally take advantage of the fact that you can then do anything and go back into the world as this ultra i know everything i've gone into the code yeah. i'm enlightened but then i guess the whole point is you get chased by the agents who will take you down um yeah but the premise is pretty cool you know you suddenly knew kung fu and uh karate and stuff that's pretty good that like, is cool kind of click of a button imagine tinkering with that bad boy That'd be nice. It's just brain mapping. How long would you knowledge. go? Is the real question. How long would you make it? What coiled up at least? Coiled. Yeah. Like a Cumberland, like one of those Matthew sausages. Yeah. The ones at the butcher. Tight big curl. Old curly boys. Why is that? So curl. that you can, so it can naturally curl at request. So it's a coiled. Or would you like an innie that protrudes to an outie? In the That's world of Matrix, thing, I yeah. think that would be very beneficial, yeah. Because if you're mm. flying about all over the place, you don't want it flapping around. Or you don't want it. Any... would it even be something that you, you need? Maybe it's just a giant big red button that just gives you just a pure pit of ecstasy. That would be nice. Yeah? It's like, yeah. bam! Woo! <laughs> all you need is I'm this set. You know? stimulus. Yeah. That's all you want. But you'd just, be, I mean... fucking, I'd be hitting that button a lot, guys. It'd Do you be think... Just like, well, uh, Looking, oh, at oh, oh, current, oh, looking at our current oh. situation, right? Do you think it's more yeah. likely we're going to get a Matrix-like theme park where that technology is possible and you're going to have like a cool experience like that or it's just going to become a reality? Do you reckon it's going to be um, entertainment or is it just going to become the new norm? I think it depends how bad reality is. I yeah. think obviously we, they are working towards obviously the virtual reality side of things, which, you know... If they can get senses to to start reacting in, in in a certain way, you know, maybe you're putting on a full on face mask or an entire body suit, perhaps that is is probably not too far away from what could be made real. Um, so yeah, 
but I don't. Yeah, it's the, the Matrix element where it's like it's all in your head, but you can experience everything. Like when he's eating that steak, it's like I want to, you know, eat the steak. I can taste it. It's all good. Why is that? Want to go steak. back and eat this porridge slop? It's like, well, yeah, you wouldn't. You know, you'd have that yeah, sustenance. Your body's fine. It's kept somewhere else, in a nice, safe place, away from those mm-hmm. evil robots trying to break I'd into I'd like your to ship. know who like signed up first of all, or, like the the robot power scenario like they must right. have at least been a process right are you telling me that one day all the robots suddenly just grabbed everyone them all in tanks plugged them into uh sort of i want to know the early i want the transition period did you like watch a... the boston dynamics progress video yeah i did of yeah. like the stages and how that. like it's progressed over time that's <laughs> well, it what you're watching they it suddenly go well, we've on. captured all of humanity put them in pods. all of humanity and putting them in pods like sure i reckon there was a war knew... It'll be a transition. Like, transition. like Terminator style war. war. Terminator war. And then they just wrangled up all the remaining survivors and started breeding them and stuff. It was probably horrible, actually. I imagine yeah. they I'd love yeah. to see that. That'd be a dark, like, future horror I'd like to see, you know? As I'm in, surprised like, as it's not been explored. Film. Yeah, that would what, be interesting. Ro- robot wars. Robots winning, humans. yeah, winning the war. Like, you know, yeah. I mean, Inside the Matrix would be really cool because that would then go into the like okay. yeah why why that existed all that sort of shit um but you know I, i'm certainly not against somebody creating a, a whole new idea mm. around that concept of like apparently yeah, it was explored in animatrix yeah. remember the animatrix oh okay, okay. Yeah, it was all different yeah, styles it was quite cool yeah apparently so that it's was like explored. 28 days later but with the robots kind of scenario where you've got the yeah origin story of you know mm-hmm. the rage and fueled apes who then decide to well they just bite a human and that spreads that but you want like to see the the robots where they turn and in, in a way is, is westworld not kind of starting to cover those grounds that's actually coming out again soon, isn't it? what if that is the unofficial prequel to the matrix holy I shit can you imagine i mean ideas wise it's not not far off is it it's not far off no um what if they just come out into the i mean i i, I don't I mean, have you seen the latest stuff of no. westworld Oh, uh, yeah, I have. I don't want to spoil too much then. It's really good. But what if they escaped Westworld and then it just turns out the real world is also filled with them? <gasps> They've been there the whole time. Like, oh, just slowly. It's a bigger world. It's just filled with them anyway. Oh my Holy God. Holy shit. There's no any yeah, no. No more <clears throat> organic Just a bad track. Animatrix if... does literally explore all of those ideas. Like, well, then I guess about, we'll, like, I'm the, watching there's the a series. war and everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, uh, what yeah. if, right? There's guaranteed one of us is a Westworld robot. Which one right. is most likely? Ross. It's Ross. It's definitely <laughs> Ross. I think um, the, the, you couldn't tell, right? You just couldn't. And like, that's it, that was yeah. the thing. Uh, unless they repeated scripts. So the things that they say over and over again, which is all three of us, really. We say the oh, same we thing. The same dick jokes and stuff. The over time. and over, yeah. So, the, yeah. Um, and I'm Chris Trot. So we are. And I'm Ross yes. Holby. I'm Chris Trott. Wait, you've, you've triggered my, my name. <laughs> Read out. Name shit. protocol. He has to Whenever say his hear, name. And I'm Chris Trott. Trot. And I'm Ross Holby. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Um, no, I think we're all equally uh, robotic. Yeah. We are robots, and we were created to um, make repetitive content for 10 plus years. It was actually to make yep. a really divisive society. Where people right. come to us and start really like going far right or far left, polarizing mm-hmm. opinions, mm-hmm. and then f- mm-hmm. start fighting each other. That was our aim, our initial aim. But now we're so sophisticated that we can even make jokes of that fact, and people mm-hmm. won't even mm-hmm. believe it. So exactly, further it's the causing a divide. Mm-hmm. So it's... we were supposed to be flipping right and left, um, like almost constantly, and we went hard really, lib really for a long time. We did yeah. Um... Hard lip. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll go back around. We'll we'll make it work. Definitely. Um, we'll come outspoken. It's fine. It'll happen. Okay. So we all really want a dystopic Matrix-like future. So that's nice. Okay. Slash yeah. um, a zoo <clears throat> for you know sci-fi futures. Mm. That as well. And an avatar. That'd be nice. Um, would you like the second okay. patron question? Yeah. Throw it yes. Out. Now this one is going to require some real serious thought here, guys. So buckle up. And I really hope. You've had a coffee. You've been turned into a non-electric inanimate object by a witch's spell. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you are needed by you need a hundred people to touch you to break the spell. What would you be? I don't what, know. All the, do they have to touch it all at once? No. No. I just said a door handle. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, yeah, um, that, that would be one of the best. But where things. is the door a handle? Seat, I guess. A public least, toilet seat. A toilet seat is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, in an airport. Yeah. I'll be, I'll oh, be the door handle in an airport. You be the toilet seat. We'll be free in no time, mate. No time at all. I mean, look around people. and we're like, how the hell do we get duped by this witch? God, we're so practical. Yeah. It's an uh, inanimate, we, electric, yeah. non-electric object, of so course. yeah, it can be anything. Yeah, yeah I know Troy, seat, you've got um, a fancy toilet, but not everybody has an electric yeah. fucking toilet seat. Oh, right. right? Sorry, yeah. I thought that was the norm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are you ever worried about electrocuting yourself on the toilet where you're just taking a shit and maybe there's a malfunction? And... <clears throat> I had a dream today that I held electric, a live wire, and I was just desperately trying to you know because you know what you like you lock in that you lock into place i was desperately in my dream i was just no no ah! and i was just really fighting <laughs> oh, that right. i wanted to let go but obviously yeah it was, ah, it we've all witnessed what it's like to have our hands electrically charged they just contract your yeah. muscles and you grip it harder yeah but that was fucking what a dream that really horrified me i literally um, i i don't think I, I mean, maybe I forget them. Maybe I'm that good at, like, you know, obliviating my um, bad mem part? like memories. But I just haven't had a bad dream in years. I feel so lucky. We've They're always just dreams. like, well, yeah, not that good a dream. Not like but you know, no like, dreams not, in general. No, I do dream, but like they're usually a bit mundane. It's if all I'm really to quality you. sex dreams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice. Nice. <laughs> He's having a great time. Him, I'm I'm there, like, Help! <laughs> <laughs> it's a life wire. <laughs> power off. <laughs> and I'm just like, God, I feel invigorated. Um, Another yeah. orgy. Wow. Come on, man. Just uh, turn the power off. That's so why I'm so tired in the morning. What <laughs> do you think is causing you to hang on to the... Well, no, you're stuck. Although it's just the fact that I know that you can't let go of it once you're like branded. But let's unpack let this. Let's unpack so why your end. subconscious is He's living you through to think about these things. Um, Fears. I don't know. I haven't really done any electrical work in, <laughs> in some time. I don't. Are know you what... worried about how? Oh, maybe it's when we can't about, let go no. of something. Uh, electric fences. <laughs> Electric just fences. Just, well, I mean, electric fences. Have you held onto electric fence for any yeah. time? Yeah, it's a weird sensation. It's a, 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 yeah, it's like a <laughs> it's a momentary thing, isn't it? It's just, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's not nice. Um, I wouldn't want to piss someone. Apparently, that's really excruciating because it just yeah goes up. Yeah, you so want a really fun thing. game, right? You get so you get a bunch of people to hold hands. Mm -hmm. Then oh, one yeah. person grabs the wire, and then you get the person at the other end of the chain. To touch the wet grass and oh, basically it the amplifies goes, right? yeah it's sort of like a capacitive or something it gets you get a really big shock at the end and everybody else is right. just sort of like conductors do that as okay. well there's right. so many fun uh, things you can do with electric fences as okay. well as just hanging on to electric live wires mm. it is scary that concept the fact that you can't let go of the thing that's yeah. killing you yeah i mean also i've seen yeah. videos of like yeah people, where people look like we're doing electrical work and then that happens. And it's like, yeah, fuck. it's it's basically it's like, like let go of it, <laughs> five head, and then they're smoking instantly. <laughs> and then I've seen I've seen a video like that where they just, just fall back go. stiff. Just like go. idiot, idiot. Yeah, God. I think but, I've seen one yeah, of the guys just, in India being back. hit by a um like a train, like electric train one. So they're like oh, really oh yeah, high that's out. that's oh, one of the ones yeah. I saw. Where he accidentally yeah. like touched the train wire and exploded. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's I've seen that one as well. That's brutal. Oh, no, God, I saw no. I saw something that I, ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. Is that <laughs> the thing that you'd like to I saw turn a theme into park a, thing wait, later on? And not a, yeah, I don't want to go on a, any theme park rides for a long time. <laughs> okay, at all. No. <laughs> Jesus. The sound, the sound of what have you if seen? Anyone, if anyone's listening and you know, like, what is it? Can you no, don't, don't, no detail? No detail. Like be vague. You what know that thing people... we went on in um oh where was it? Is it I think that dropped us in Germany. I think that dropped yeah. us in Oblivion. Germany. Oblivion. Oh, that horrible one. Horrible accident on that. Yeah. And it's just someone was obviously uh, was filming it and yeah. Brutal. I won't go into it anymore. If you really <laughs> are curious, it's online and I don't I don't recommend you watch it because if you Is like, it like rides, you'll never Wiley want to Coyote and Roadrunner style where 
they're at the top and it's, it's dropped, not, but they're still up there. It was so bad. I, okay. <laughs> that Brutal. bad. Ross has seen a lot and as honestly, well. And honestly, I don't even well, so think I might have an insight as to why Just... you're having these bad dreams all the time. <laughs> yeah. um, it might be all the traumatic shit you're looking it's, at. It is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and I've seen some weird shit. It's because, again, we were indoctrinated at a young age. You know, we're getting these shitty, weird videos on Bluetooth being sent to us. Ah, that's really <laughs> funny. But then you want to you, you end up going down the rabbit hole and seeing weirder shit. <laughs> I'm just glad live leak isn't a thing anymore, you know. But you're still finding uh, shit like that somehow. Yeah, I it comes up. Where? <laughs> Where's it coming up? Twitter. This was on Twitter. This one. This that one, was, was on like, Twitter. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck are you following? What's well, the thing? I try and find <laughs> funny news stories, and you get all all sorts of weird stories come up, and that's right. like half ninety percent of them are not funny. They're just horrible or you know horrendous politics yeah. stuff, and it's like. Occasionally, something really rough comes up. <laughs> Curiosity gets the better of you. You're like, God, what actually happened? Why are people so shocked by this? And it's like, yep. Oh, no, that's why. I'm also now very shocked. But, <laughs> I'm part yeah, of that group. Taking a, yeah, Traumatized. A theme park anytime soon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> mm -hmm. and honestly, You're going to have a dream about that now. Yeah? I'll say it's the sound that was worse than the video. So. Oh, God. I don't want to start helps. like my brain starts. starts painting a picture for you. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The video start with headphones on. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, headphones on. Hilarious. Laughing emojis. <laughs> no, it wasn't sound that, up. No. It was just more sound like, uh, Jesus Christ, this is shocking. Um, I yeah. don't, uh, my brain is like trying to create an image and I don't want to. So let's move I on. Can, I'll happily send it to you later. if you. Really I don't want it, to. I don't think you should. No. Why isn't be worse my violent it... death search term providing any funny news? Yeah. Um, Trot, what um, inanimate object would you be, would you say? The doorknob is a really you? good. <laughs> Completely transformed you into something. Yeah. Um, what is it? A hundred people have to touch it. Maybe we went too easy with the whole door handle thing. Maybe it needs to be a bit more obscure. Greyfriars Bobby's nose. Greyfriars, oh, okay. Nice. Statue. That's... It'd be just the nose. <laughs> just the nose piece. Um, just a little bit of the nose of the dog. So I guess there's there's so me. many things you could be. What this, I mean... There's sometimes signs up where it's like, don't touch like certain screens or the glass or whatever, but people always do. So maybe it'd be something like that. So it's like, it's not the easiest win. It's kind of like, yeah. people a couple years you ago, to, you will touch the glass. I would have been you hand sanitizer the... gel. Right. Yeah. Nowadays, people Water. are just like, yeah. Water. <laughs> touch me. I guess um, they're not inanimate, are they? Liquids. True. Well, Particle? No. I'm not going to get into science. I don't know enough. A banister? <laughs> like, you know, like a handrail down some stairs. Handrail, yeah. A handrail um, to a subway. Oh, these are boring, aren't they? Um, these are. This is the thing. These are the, the question drove it that way. It really, yeah. Not Non-electric was, was it's fine. But maybe it should have been really, like, even more niche. So, like, you know, in a specific place, in a museum or a room or whatever. Or, it's getting know. pissed on count as being touched. Um, Are you I, think, I think I it does. So. I think it does. So I'd be a urinal. Yeah, I'd be a urinal. <laughs> just to gobble it down. It's just like <laughs> it's my, your mouth. My <laughs> bottom jaw. So you don't look like a urinal. Your... You look like your face yeah. shaped like it's a urinal. Like a cartoon of... <laughs> my mouth and bottom jaw, jaw just, jaw just opens like... like a snake. Would you have a little piss cake <laughs> in your tongue as well? No, a little urinal I'd have one cake. from my head, one of, like one of those deep sea fish. A lure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they've got a piss on the cake and it's all dangles in You've front of my face. You've got to take a hundred different pisses in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's different. <laughs> For and it I to like break the spell. One... And oh, does the hundredth spell mean you just transform back with someone's piss in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, you broke the spell. You broke I the think... spell. Stop. I think it's what... <laughs> Honestly, I would take piss in the mouth to get rid of that spell. I'd take all sorts to get rid of that spell. You don't want to be stuck as something. I mean, what if you were glory? Want to be Ross would be a sit down toilet. A sit down. Toilet, yeah. <laughs> Even bigger. So all it's his in. neck, his neck, <laughs> and then his eyes go on the system, and then his lower <laughs> mouth. Yeah, and the flushing mechanism isn't good either. That's, no, that's just you're processing that. Oh, again, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't get it down. You got to swallow everything, Ross. Would you do that to break that? Break that curve. <laughs> this is like a what? Well, so you God. have to be like a human centipede. Essentially. You're a You're human toilet. Take, you are the at the back of the centipede. Yeah. 
You're swallowing it's it not down. electric because it's a flushing toilet that doesn't need electric. It's what's so genius about it. Oh, yeah, of course. So, yeah, it's just <laughs> your, your lips are the, are the warm toilet seat in this scenario because mm. obviously. <laughs> I mean, it's. We <laughs> sit on there. I think if we had options like this, this would be one of the worst options. Oh, uh, God, I shouldn't have had all those bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what about being like a glory hole? Like, do you think that's being quite a bad? glory hole? Being a glory hole, because obviously you will you will come into contact with potentially hundreds of people. I'm not sure what the time scale would be. Jesus Christ! You are just a yeah. You're just a, a hole in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> receiving. You're just a full on giving, hole. I, I don't know. You're a bit of both. You're, you're... Back filled by you, or is it just a hole? You're, I like you're the basically idea that the whatever it is you choose, it has your animated eyes on it. So. <laughs> Hurry up! Get the next one in! <laughs> Quick! We're trying to rush the queue. Need to get through a hundred. Well, honestly, really work it because this is taking ages. <laughs> this is silly. Should have been a, something else. Being a glory hole. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, those are really disturbing and disgusting um, options, but better than a door handle, I guess. More interesting. More interesting. What about More those, like, flappy plastic um, things that people used to go into uh, like a canteen, you know, like a kitchen, oh, right, yeah. uh, a supermarket or whatever. And you've, you've got to peel away all these plastic. Oh, those flaps. Vertical yeah. flaps. I'd the be one of those. Things. Yeah, I'd be one of those. <laughs> uh, oh, he brushes past. You'd, you'd be a ball in a kid's ball pit, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just one ball. <laughs> I think he's, Touch me. he's in the sea. He's like, oh God, fuck, I'm, I'm going to the bottom. No, no. I'm being buried. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to be stuck here forever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's definitely some balls in the ball pits that like don't get touched for a long time as well, oh, right? Yeah. Like, Although, I mean, there must be, I think there is a washing system. There is. Um, it's like a big hoover it, that sucks them out. It can actually be quite bad. Did you like, see that one in London? Yeah, yeah but nowadays wise. maybe, but back when we were actually small enough to care about ball pools, definitely not. Was there was, I once went to a jungle jungle where I like crawled through a tube and just crawled through some kid's piss. Like, <laughs> the, like, oh, like, like <laughs> this is like, this is like three stories oh, up, God. right? This is going to be a real bitch for an adult to get into to yeah. clean. And I was crawling through it. And I'm like, oh, it's all wet. And it was like one of those inf like inflatable, <laughs> like plastic covered things. So yeah. it sits on the surface. So I'm just splashing through this thing on my hands and knees. And it's just God. piss. I don't, know I, ever, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I ever thought about how filthy that environment is. Yeah, yeah. In reality. horrible. Why you do know, they want to go there? Hundreds of kids must be for... clambering over this plastic and just like, it's not going to be washed for a while anyway. So if you're going later in the day, you are ugh, rolling around in filth. <laughs> oh, you got a 4 p.m. booking. Ooh, okay. Mm. All right. Well, are you sure? Does the kid want God. the optional pot? Go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if there's any uh, parents listening now, I mean, maybe that's a new thought. Maybe they didn't even consider it. I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, I imagine you would. I think mess is kind of like comes part and parcel, doesn't it? I mean, it does. You have to wipe an ass every day. All right, I'll be a jungle gym. <laughs> You'll be a jungle gym. So I mean, be a whole, a whole gym. gym. The whole I mean, gym. Yeah, you, you, that'll probably be over very quickly in an hour. A whole yeah. soft play area. That's not bad. That's quick. For the entire Sweet. area, Jesus. A gunge okay, tank. Um, I'd be a gunge tank. Gunge tank. <laughs> <laughs> and get your own bank. Why? <laughs> well, I get think we covered all the tips. bases there for our patron questions. Yeah. So, uh, Ross, do you have so. any? Yeah. You know, when there you're trolling is, through and finding really like traumatizing stuff? News. Yeah, these aren't traumatizing stuff. necessarily. Sweet. Um, well, let's see. I mean, it's, it's more weird ones. There's <laughs> this one was just the headline was just interesting. Um, and the, it starts with, this is mom's life. Uh, a British Colombian woman was breastfeeding a child and then saved a pet goose from an eagle. So just a series of events wow. was uh, quite funny. Apparently this okay. uh, went viral on TikTok. But, so there is footage of a woman who is currently breastfeeding. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much you can. I mean, you can't. It is it. censored by um, the baby. But she had a pet goose and had to rush out to save it from an attacking eagle. Um, I mean, I don't know how many people have a pet goose, but that's you know quite a novelty. Looks like she's got quite have. a lot of land there, so it's, I feel like she's got yeah. the, the space yeah. for them to roam. Um, I want to watch the video just to see see how crazy it is. You can hear a goose going, ah, 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 <laughs> and then obviously there's the eagle flying down, attacking and trying to grab that goose. Um, whilst a breastfeeding woman comes running out of a house and yeah. scares the eagle you away. Get the it's choice. as simple as that. Do you want um, to flick through it? Make sure there's me. any there's no nip slips. 
I don't think there's any nip slips in that video, Trot. I don't think you're getting any nip slips. You'll just see. Yeah, sure so if you are watching the video on um, our Hat Chat YouTube channel, um, you'll get to enjoy a uh, woman go. rushing out oh, to Oh, there it goes. The... Wow, Eagle swooped in. It was on the wow. porch. Oh, look at the goose. Oh. It's dragging it. It's getting oh, it. Oh, my God. Probably done some damn. damage with those talents. Oh, wow. So. Oh, she really is just topless. Well, she's got, yeah, she's breastfeeding. She's pants. Um, it's a very unique scenario. I just thought that was an interesting kind of like scenario there. Um, also, there's an update. You know, a few hat chats ago, we talked about the guy who um, ate, God knows, I mean, how many Big Macs is it now? Oh, First yeah. 2,340 Big Macs. The Big Mac guy. Who yes. only eats Big Macs. Big Mac guy, day. yeah. He How's is he doing? celebrating 50 years of eating a Big Mac every day. He I'm so glad you didn't say he died. <laughs> No, he's not dead. Um, he's doing all again, right. We we discussed this that obviously it's it's you know calorie wise. I don't think he's going over his daily amount to to an extreme degree. I don't think he's having fries with it. I think he freezes is it, them. Doesn't is he? it just That's one Big Mac a day? No, no, he has one for lunch and dinner. Or does he have one for breakfast as well? I thought. I think he did have um, it for every meal, didn't he? Not every meal. Oh God. Oh, it's so well, bad. Well, he has I mean, one at least one a day. You have to and think that was the, that eat was the one story. Um, almost every day, yeah. yeah. He actually eats two um, Big Macs a day more often than not, apparently. There we go. How can you be excited about having a Big Mac? If you had, if there was one thing that you had to eat for 50 years of your life, what, what would it be, do you think? Lasagna. Oh, you wouldn't get bored of lasagna? I fucking love lasagna. I'd, I I'd love probably lasagna. choose something stupid like a grape, you know? I could eat a grape, grape every day for fifty years. I yeah, mean, it's not. No, it, right. it, you need to have. It's, it needs to be something you want to have, <laughs> not just like a. You've now. You're now being forced fed a grape every day. It has to be something that you like. Oh, grapes I really are nice. Want, like, I like something grapes. you enjoy enough. That you could say, "I'm having this every day." All right, day. creme brulee. <laughs> Fucking hell! Creme Jesus. Brulee. I mean, Why are they yeah. congratulating a person on what is just clearly an addiction? Well, like yeah. this is. I don't know. This is just McDonald's an are celebrating them. For sure, yeah, of course, I know, of course they, they are. Fucking hell, of course, course they are. Thanks for us up, buddy. Or... Not only is this guy not even, he's not obese, he's not in a position where he looks, I mean, extremely. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Anything, so, you got a picture outside McDonald's because they celebrated him, and it's a McDonald's sign with the D O N and S missing off the sign. Oh, what? because he's eaten them? Don. I know, yeah, congrats, Don, on 50 years of Max. So, they've kind of. That was the McDonald's that celebrated him. Nice one. Yeah. He is the true. Ronald McDonald himself. Oh, look what I did. Oh, I yeah, he's, love... he's got the packaging for throughout the decades. Yeah. Holy okay. crap. I mean, if anyone is out there and you're desperate to kind of like make something of yourself, I mean, there are loads of different ways to do it. Maybe just, yeah, maybe go for the Burger King. Or maybe go for a Whopper a day. And the see, single see meal option. You. Um, yeah, a big fast food chain as well that will like love just, that shit. Yeah, because honestly, they fucking lap up that free advertisement and... You can enjoy a, a minute of fame thing for every day and not get shamed for it. You'll be, if anything, celebrated by the Guinness World Record books, Book of World Records. Um, what else have we got here? We've got um, a couple of dog news stories here. One of which um, is a couple woke up to find a dog snuggled in bed with them. It wasn't theirs. They woke <laughs> up and there was a, I mean, they had dogs, but it wasn't their dog. Um, so Look they, at this. They, Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, oh, morning. Oh. Say, when Julie Johnson noticed a furry creature snuggled up in bed with her and her husband in the middle of the night, she didn't think too much of it. After all, they have three dogs. Oh. Uh, but when the couple woke up in the, in the morning, they found an entirely unfamiliar face staring at them. Uh, the interlope was big, brown, and furry. Absolutely not my dog. Um, I rolled over instead. <laughs> and my husband, he said at me, we were like, is this going to hurt us? Uh, what do we do? When it's a Labrador Bulldog mix as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah somehow it got into their home. And yeah, so they posted on Facebook. And I think quite quickly they found the owner who said he just likes to uh, escape sometimes and get into oh. houses. So luckily it was That's just a, thing. A, a friendly thing. But that could have, I mean, that could turn if that's... I mean, I'm guessing obviously they're really more yeah. secure with it if it was a dangerous wild. dog. But I mean, that's I'm surprised funny. the other dogs didn't go like, "Who the fuck?" Yeah, are you? what the fuck? Or bark at the fact that there's a strange dog there. But maybe there's three yeah. of them. They're all used to dogs being around. They just kind of yeah. All right, um, mate. Deal yeah, with you, it. you get in the bed as well, are you? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Come on uh, in. The yeah. other dog story is a sad dog story, um, especially if you're a fan of pugs, in the sense that 
Uh, this the headline says pug health is so poor it can't be considered a typical dog in a study, which is strange because obviously Smith, that's one of your favorite dogs, isn't it? What does that it mean? Was so that was what you until I realized this really. Yeah. It's, it, it's it's they're lovely little dogs, but it literally is dooming a, an animal to live just a suffer really good, for kind of yeah, cuteness, ill yes. life, and it's just a bit unfair, I think, um, to perpetuate that. I think it really rings true when you look at like the pug over the years of how much it's we've shifted its looks <laughs> into what it yeah. is nowadays, and you're like, oh god, we inbred it so much it did that. <laughs> mm, now it's yeah. got respiratory but, problems. Yeah, it just says the new studies suggest that pugs face uh, serious health conditions that they can no longer be considered a typical dog, typical dog from a health perspective. Um, which, yeah, so that's pretty. I mean. It goes That's into a bit more detail, but there are other one. dogs similar to that. So bulldogs, foxes, mm. are bred for their distinctive looks. Um, yeah. I, w- I want to see thro- like I'd love to see a culture now of like abandoning pedigree by definition and mm. just sort of like going like right. How do we create dogs that look like nice, but and have the things that people like about them, but also like really healthy? For example, like yeah, yeah how could we? How could we get like a really good snout on a dog, which is like a handsome looking snout, you know, as as well, you know, like yeah. as in it it just it is unfair to the animals if I think they're being bred in a way that mm. causes them to have a life of suffering. It's just yeah, it's I mean, they're very adorable human dogs. Beings. Um, yeah, exactly, they are. Yeah. yeah, but doesn't mean they can't have a, a happy life as well. Yeah, because so you, you can. You... One as well. It's not against the owners necessarily, but I'm sure. Yeah, no, so it's very, I, yeah. very strange to consider it not a typical dog. I don't know. What, I mean, it's still a dog, right? I Just think because there's probably like a baseline of health, um, yeah. and then there's like you know all of the genetic factors of different breeds affecting that baseline. But they're yeah. just so fucked up in so many ways that yeah, it's There's a lot of unique it's problems. Just a almost lot of time of yeah. yeah, because it doesn't just stop at the face either. They've got heart problems. They're really common. They commonly have heart problems, um, and there's all sorts of problems with other breeds. I mean, we we know this. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it is our vanity ultimately, and and you need to own that if you if you do know knowingly get into mm. a breed that has issues, you just got to be like, right, well, I've got to pay for all this shit, yeah. and I've got to make sure this dog is as this happy thing, as possible. This article also states that yeah, it says uh, Doctor Hill says people who buy dogs uh, do so in good faith, and it's important not to attribute blame. But there yeah. are things that can be done for existing pug owners, like looking out for symptoms of breathing difficulties, such as excessive panting or lots of noise during breathing. Um, in summer months, pugs are more at risk of heat-related problems uh, because yeah. they have less airway, so they need to be kept cool. Um, and while the barrel-shaped bodies are really cute, weight management is important as well. Uh, an overweight, short-faced dog is like a pug at even greater risks. So yeah, I mean, so there's things they can do, but yeah, it's um, it's a, yeah. It's a sad, pug, sad news for the pugs. Indeed. There are some really good breeders out there, like certified breeders that follow a really strict code of making mm. sure that they're not inbreeding and they have like a good yeah. selection and variety. So it's not, thankfully, not everybody. But mm. yeah, I mean, it's there's inbreeding and then there's pedigree standards as well, though, isn't there? Like, as in, like, I'm sure they are taking all these steps to not create unnecessary suffering and dogs that are horrifically unhealthy, but. Just yeah. following a pedigree standard of what a pug should look like, you yeah. are inherently creating an animal For that has sure. issues. Yeah. Um, right now, obviously, there's big money in the dog game. Yeah, of course. There's the reason any <clears throat> evil exists in the world is money, um, mm. I suppose. But yeah, I mean, you can you can get crossbreeds that have larger snouts, for example. Yeah. Like that's one way that they can counter some of the pug the puggle, for example, which is a beagle pug cross. It means that they get more of a snout, which reduces the amount of problems they have with breathing. I don't know. It's it's a complicated idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I bumped into a on. guy who has a French bulldog. I've seen him a couple of times around here, and um, he came up to me the other day. He goes, "Oh, you want to be careful with your dog?" Some guys, two guys, came up with a knife and tried to steal my dog from me. Jesus I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Jesus Christ. <laughs> they, really? He's like, "Yeah, I, I fought him off and ran away." But just be careful with yours, you know. Just keep on the lead. I was like, "Well, yeah, I, I do." But he was just yeah. wandering around with this French. It's very cute little uh, gray French bulldog, but um. Yeah, You're threatening to steal it away from knife point. I was like, "Fucking hell!" Good job, my Bristol. friend's dad, my dead friend's dad, had the same thing happen to him oh in God. um in some like rural Somerset. Like a guy what? literally just jumped out of a head Jesus. and tried to nick his dog. And luckily, he was like an ex doorman, um, and 
dealt with the guy, but like they, um, yeah, I mean, if it was because he doesn't usually walk that dog, it's his daughter's dog, and he was right. walking it for her. So if she'd been out in the same field walking along, then she probably would have had a bit of a different experience. But he was mm. sort of, I mean, yeah, not to, not because she was. Well, yeah, no, she would have had a different experience. So yeah, yeah. it's scary as fuck. Yeah. And oh, there's high value kind of... to him. That's the thing. I think it was a puppy mm. at the time. So yeah, they're like much, two much grand for a French bulldog dog puppy. All the dogs, but still, Damn. yeah. Um, it is handed dog was an ex doorman. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. This last story here is just a reference to the, something that we made for Smith a while ago, um, and it's Balenci Balenciaga is the brand I think launched mm -hmm. a fully destroyed sneakers um, worth a whopping how much are they? Sorry, I don't know what that what P is. Uh, Eighteen oh, one thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars for these destroyed fucked up shoes that you'd probably oh, yeah. even, even yeah. worn them for like 20 years that's probably what they'd look like especially if you trampled through mud and mm -hmm. maybe they were ran over by a car they are yeah. completely destroyed and they're selling like a you know, they've only made like a hundred of them as part of their paris collection yeah, um, stupid, but it reminds me of that time when we went um and we made streetwear for smith torn yeah. clothes, but we just went out and started ruining a load of clothes and saying it was um of high value and coming kanye right was that that yeah cool. that was it yeah yeah becoming kenya something like that um that. but yeah we had that actually, crazy I mean, drug addled rant as well mm. about Jesus. I mean, I oh, yeah. They, yeah that was it that guy was i don't i can't remember even what half he's what he was talking about i don't but think I he, he knew just, i don't know either yeah, he was but, but a um, vessel <laughs> i mean i see why they do these things is it you know it, people talk about it because it's bizarre and obviously there's only a unique few of them but yeah it's just a bit of a piss take especially in the current state of the world it's like yeah spending two thousand dollars on destroyed s sneakers just seems in poor taste but that's my yeah, opinion yeah well there's actually an interesting thing uh you know kendrick lamar released a new album recently and there's oh, yeah. a song in that that's one of the most popular songs in it is basically about like get rid of all this stupid designer shit and like why are you i mean it's more complicated than that than just like get yeah. rid of it but like it, it is nice to hear somebody in that position just being like because he could, he could benefit from that, right? That's Jeez. something that he could technically benefit from through promotion. Yeah. Um, and it's well, he's benefiting. Awesome. At the same time, it's just like, well, you know, why is that worth more than just because one person's promoted it over anyone else? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fashion industry is very bizarre. But in this, yeah, it, is, it yeah. seems like a very odd thing to push currently when yeah, everyone's yeah. like desperately like trying to pay energy bills are sky high and all sorts of shits, which normal people have to deal with but isn't it kendrick lamar article, that it? he supports r kelly right does, does he? he i don't know I'm pretty sure he does yeah <laughs> how so as in like as in, he like, defends him he... oh what he did jesus christ i think so does he also defend michael jackson i don't know and what he did or are you all claiming that doesn't happen <laughs> mj he's got know. some great tunes so he's forgiven yeah, I oh, can bang out a good tune. <laughs> Not one uh, for a home nursery. <laughs> yeah, no, it's ridiculous. Right. I mean, I, I, you would hope that the world is changing a bit at the moment. It certainly feels that way to me um, in a lot of ways. So hopefully the age of stupid shit like that is becoming more and more obvious as crypto bro bullshit, right? Like, the, like there was a lot of yeah, I don't know. I feel like eventually people will move from buying brands to buying decent stuff again, as in things that are well made and things yeah. that are like useful and durable and nice looking and made of quality things. And hopefully, you know, all these different things coming into people's purchasing decisions. Hopefully, I'll tell you I tell what know. I've been doing I, recently I, I, that you might all actually what? really enjoy. Uh, yeah. It's a site or app called Vinted. Uh, right. oh, I've heard it's it. not, yeah, I not heard sponsored it, yeah. in any way, but it's basically secondhand mm -hmm. people selling their clothes. Yeah, um, yeah I've heard and not more often than not, it's like stuff that they got as a gift or whatever, not used. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good way of just like getting some stuff that you want. Yeah, but, uh, there's a few. Is it Depop as well? Is that I don't know if that's. Yeah, there's, there's the loads same. of them. But yeah. I can vouch for eBay Vinted, like, used to be used for it. shit like that. <laughs> yeah, I think people don't really use eBay for that anymore. Um, but, eBay's yeah, no, for cool. good exactly. secondhand yeah, hardware. <laughs> that's what that's for. Using shit, definitely. What's the thing? Like, they're moving towards like being able to repair like expensive hardware now as well, which is yeah, the right to repair the route for it. Because I mean, consider how much stuff is probably being chucked. Like, 
electrics wise it'd be good to be able to actually just go into your you know back of your iphone and just replace a couple of bits and make it last a lot longer right to repair and all that sort of I'm stuff i'm sure they'll mm -hmm. find ways to go around that right these big fuckers probs mm -hmm. probably right that's but all hey. the stories i have that is it for today then and we've got a big bumper 50 minute episode for you all um wow. so enjoy that um you already have you're at the end well done um so next week congratulations we'll be back as per usual thank you once again to our patrons for supporting us every week patreon.com slash hat films you get credit at the end of the youtube video if you want to check out the visuals on this um that's available if you want just search for hat chat podcast on youtube and also if you want to send us an email with some funny news or maybe a fingal um, please send it yeah. to hatchat at hat-films.com. That would be much appreciated. And we'll see you all next week. Have a bloody good one. Yeah. We're back for fun. episode 100 The next big week. hundo. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundo. What will we do for it? Something special? Probably not. See Something you then. Nice and familiar. <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.